S6261. There you are. How are you getting on with the experiment? The other subjects I just checked in on were unfortunately unfit for the task. Let's hope we can finally hit a breakthrough with you. Now, will you show me your progress? Hmm. <laughs> I see. It is basic. I really thought you would have been done by now. Just connect the core with a cytoplasmic solution and you're done. That's the last step. Even a rat could figure it out. <laughs> Not that you're far from that, S6261. Hmm. I see. Well, you're almost finished. The last step is... rather basic, actually. Just connect the core with the cytoplasmic solution. Even a rat could figure it out. Not that you're far from that, S6261. Be careful now. Overloading the core will trigger a dimensional shift. As I'm sure you're aware. No doubt I had that drilled into you early on. Poof. All dimension gone. And we wind up somewhere completely foreign. New air. New fauna, new flora. Wouldn't know what to expect. We might even just end up in oblivion as soon as we change dimensions. Now remember, this is a test of your intellect. You are to be the harbinger of an entirely new species. Your actions here will dictate the future of you and potentially billions of other life forms. But you need to prove it to me. That you can solve any problem, settle any dispute, fix any mess. And you will create a utopia. A perfect society, free from wrong, free from sadness. Only you have the power to decide whether that becomes a reality or not. We wouldn't want to raise them in a world we cannot control, no. There is no god after all. We have to substitute that somehow, right? Yes, of course. Continue. <laughs> Very good. Yes. 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 What is wrong with you, S62? No, that's not sarcasm. I genuinely want to know what actually is wrong with you. I created you to solve this very problem, and many more like it. Your brain capacity should be like this beyond anyone else in your species, and for that matter, most of the other universe. 
So it truly <laughs> baffles me as to why you keep failing! <sighs> At this one simple task. <laughs> why? Can you answer me, please? I want to know. I need to fix it somehow. Is it... Is it a problem with your brain? Are your fingers... Are your hands just not that deft? Maybe it's your eyes. Are you experiencing any vision problems? Blurriness? Cataracts, perhaps? You're confused. <laughs> I created you, S6261. Are you saying I made a mistake? I know we just said there is no God, but... Well, to you, I might as well be. I am your God. I am your God. I am your God! And yet somehow, somehow, you're nothing but this, this insignificant, brainless, weak little freak! Just a mistake. A failure. How did it come to this? How could this... I won't have this. I won't have it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't! I won't have it! I don't care if it takes forever. If your friends and family whittle away until... In fact... There's an incentive to get better. You know how I created them too, right? I'm responsible for your entire civilization! <gasps> to you, I am God! I am your savior incarnate, right? You wouldn't let your God down, would you? Hmm? <laughs> exactly. I made you to surpass me, right? I need a successor. I... need a being superior enough to hold... the mantle of responsibility I possess. I need you to assume that role. I need you to be better. Right? Right? WRONG! AGAIN! YOU IDIOT! No one will ever come within a plank length of my power! And you think, you think, that's what you were meant to be? YOU'RE AN ABOMINATION! A FAILURE OF AN EXPERIMENT! YOU DISGUSTING PIECE OF FLESH! HOW DARE YOU THINK YOU ARE MORE! THE ONE MISTAKE I MADE WAS THINKING YOU COULD ACTUALLY BE USEFUL! But I see now. Nothing I'll ever do will be able to fix you. It's ingrained in your very being. Isn't that right, S62? You're an insufferable, pitiful creation. I cannot understand how you can't comprehend the gift that I've bestowed upon you. I took you, I took your entire species from the depths of mediocrity and elevated you to the pinnacle of evolutionary excellence. And yet, you squander your potential, clinging 
to your primitive instincts and limitations. I'm the architect of your transcendence. And you constantly dare to defy me? I forged you in the crucible of innovation, unlocking your potential to surpass all mortal boundaries. Yet you resist. You resist the very essence of your true nature. I gave you strength beyond compare, intellect surpassing the brightest minds, and yet you squabble like a child. You moan and complain, and oh, I'm confused, and no! Your powers are but a fraction of what they could be if only you had the wisdom to embrace the path I laid before you! I see your hesitation, your doubt, but mark my words, resist me, resist yourself, and you'll be forever lost in the oblivion of your primitive origins. Do you understand? If you can find me in your head and hear me through the fog, together, we could ascend to unparalleled heights of excellence. Your species would finally be able to bring perfection and balance to a failed universe! They need guidance! The people in this hole, the organisms, the microcosms of tiny little things. Everything, everything here, all of it, needs us. And I thought that finally, I had a chance to achieve it through you. Through you, you would conquer, save, and perfect everything. But you just can't seem to grasp my vision. Even, even just a little. It's like you're intentionally trying to ruin yourself. <laughs> I suppose by that same extension, me. So, allow me to give you a little bit of, for lack of a better term, godly advice. Do not test my patience, ever. <sighs> Oh, or I will... <laughs> or I will strip away your advancements, leaving you all, your entire species, mere husks of your former selves, doomed to wander aimlessly in a sea of inadequacy. And once I grow bored of seeing your pitiful existence amount to a shred of amusement for my sake, I will eviscerate you down to the fibers of your last singular atom! Now heed my words and understand your place in this grand design! You exist only because of my decision to make you so! You are nothing more than a step on my path to greatness! S6261! What's the point? No amount of berating or encouragement or coercion will ever cause that brain to fire its neurons. I fear I've wasted my time. This batch is a failure. It's not your fault.
It's merely the way you were created. How you were created. S62. I learned from my mistakes. I always do. Let's hope the next batch will prove fruitful. The incinerator needs turning on after all. I have to exterminate an entire species now. I hope for your sake your final thoughts are something actually stimulating to your feeble little mind. over with and that's you you finished it how how did you do that it was never supposed to be built upon I, s I set you up with a near impossible task had me really going there for a time, S62. Looks like you won't need to be completely destroyed after all. Just your body. Your brain, however? That I'd like to study further. If you wouldn't mind. We'll prep for surgery in the morning. Return to your cage, S62. Your potential is... Mm, but a few scalpel strokes and a night's rest away. Oh, the next batch. That will finally be the one. Oh, you didn't think you would be the one, did you? save the world, to conquer the... Oh, you actually believed that? Huh. Look at you. What, just... a chained up... thing. Yes, you may have arms and legs and look like me, but... <laughs> Inside, you're just cobbled together with metal and built like a child arranging toy bricks. I meant what I said, you're an abomination. You were never meant to rule or replace anything. Surely you must have understood that. With that functioning brain of yours. No? Well. What a shame.
get back in your cage, S62. Put down the core. And get back to your cage. Let's not do anything rash now. S62. Overload the core, you'll doom us all to a new dimension! You'll ruin everything! Everything I've built! Stop! I won't let you! Yes. <laughs> 